Well, good afternoon, Derby fans and addicts. Those of you tuned in here to WFTDA, this will be the final bout of the Big O, an exhibition bout featuring members of Team USA taking on the Big O MVPs. All right, the Big O MVPs are going to be 1-1, one, 1-1 one, one, one Admiral Attack Bar, 1-2-3 Psychotic Rage, 22 Ruth Canal, 37 Death Proof, 401 Tarantula, 404 Peace War, 415 Jennings, 5 La Lucha, 510 Sangria Punch, 52 Lindsay Low Blow, 55 Haas the Boss, 630 Scarlet Danger, 7 Rusty Machete, 77 Lauren Much, 924 Lose Chaos, and uh oh, Zip Block. Now these were decided on during the course of this weekend who would be the MVPs going up against Team USA. And speaking of Team USA, Mike Checks, who do you got? I've got Team USA. We've got number 100, Mercy. Number 108, Fee Phenomenon. Number 15, Trauma. Number 18, Sights. Number 22, Harding. Number three, Adamatrix. Number 307, Saracen. Number five, Smarty Pants. Number 50, Scald Eagle. Number 66, On the Sly. Number 85, Teflon Donna. And number 99, Acres. And now that we've told you all of that, once the photo opportunity that you see on your screen there disbands, we're actually going to have all of those skaters sing and skate in a single file line, and their names will be announced over the house microphones. All right. Same verse, same. Second verse, same as a first. That's right. So hang tight, and we will get the bout underway shortly. Unfortunately, Axel Fury not able to skate here in this bout, but give it up for Kokeshi and Axel Fury, our MVP. Of course, we want to thank Canada, Terminal City. You guys are fantastic. We want you here every big O. And absolutely coming all the way from Scotland, I have been corrected a thousand times. Old Ricky is here from Scotland. And I do have an in-house request, not surprisingly, from Texas. I am gonna need everyone to please stand for the national anthem for the United States to represent Team USA here today. I know you're exhausted, but just, I promise I'll make it quick. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Oh, say does that 
party started here in the house announcing both teams out there on the track and if you can't tell everybody's raring to go Scald Eagle on the jam line for Team USA opposite number 55 Haas the boss for the big O MVP Scald Eagle once again pressing the front of that wall pushing it out Scald Eagle is your lead jammer Scald Eagle gets around Scarlet Danger at the front of the pack Haas the boss still trying to find her way through the pack on her initial pass Team USA doing some fantastic recycling. That wall is rock solid. She is having a heck of a time getting anywhere. And that's Scald Eagle getting around V-Diva at the front of the pack. That is a five point scoring pass, Scald Eagle. Possible still stuck in that wall. They, she saw the light of day for a brief second. Cyrilson's got a hold of her and she's not going anywhere. It's like Tarantula jumped up in there. They tried to break her out and they did in fact get her out. Akers trying to get the goat in the back though. Scald Eagle through the pack on another scoring pass, pushing against Much Mayhem at the front. Much Mayhem up there talking smack to her teammate up there from Rose City. And that is a quick lead as expected for Team USA to jump out and pounce on these MVPs. Score right now 14 to zero for you viewers at home. That obviously not Vanessa V. Diva sights in that last jam for the big O MVPs as she is lined up on the jam line for Team USA. But that's gonna be Admiral Attack Bar, probably one of my favorite names of this weekend. And she's working her way through this wall. Still got a wall that she's gotta get through and she finds the light of day. She is out and she is your lead jammer. High block being assessed to V Diva. She reports to the penalty box. Attack bar now on the power jam. Attack bar up there at turn number three, trying to find a hole to get through. And she does, in fact, get through for a brief second before taking taken out in the apex. That was Smarty Pants moving her to the outside of turn four. A little bit of offense coming from the MVPs. They're still trying to fight to get their player free. Attack bar now moved to the inside by Trauma. Calls off the jam before getting the track cut. That is a five point scoring pass, big O MVPs. That's nice they came back like that. We've got a nine point game, 27, 27 minutes still left on this clock. Out of Matrix on the jam line for Team USA. Great job this week. It's so entertaining to watch. 
Home crowd here having a real good time with this game. At a matrix, starts to go to the outside, gets moved back into the inside. That's 9-2-4, Lose Chaos. Yeah, Lose Chaos, she's in there trying to fight her way through. So far, the defense locking her down. Haas the boss moving out of Matrix to the outside of turn four. One player left to beat. Oh, and a cut track. Loose Chaos headed to the penalty box for a 30 second penalty on a cut. Power jam out of Matrix. She is through the pack. Lead jammer, Team USA. Akers giving a love tap to Tarantula, opening up a nice little hole. Out of Matrix through for five points. Psychotic Rage trying to hold back out of Matrix, unable to do so. Harding jumping up, grabbing one of those blockers. That was Harding taking out Zip Block there, but out of Matrix getting recycled. She goes to the back of the pack, calls this off. She's going to leave, lose chaos standing in that penalty box. Just over four minutes gone. USA with a slight edge. Only jammer out there with a star on her helmet at this time is Scald Eagle lining up on that jammer line. Lose Chaos standing in the penalty box indicating that she has less than 10 seconds to serve. Nice little bump by Fifi Nominon just to get that wall moving. Scald Eagle trying to run up that outside, jumps to the end, she's your lead jammer. Sanguna Punch trying to hold back Scald Eagle there. Scald gets around her on her way to that lead jammer. Loose chaos. Oh, getting taken out by the jammer. Scald Eagle. Sights takes her back. That's right. That was Sights setting up Scald Eagle to lay the hit there that took out Loose Chaos. And as we know from up in Rose City, Scald Eagle loves to take out the jammer. That was a five point scoring pass for Scald Eagle. She comes around again, goes at Lu Ruth Canal, and now Jennings gets a small screen from Teflon Donna. Loose Chaos getting taken out in that straightaway. She is trying to fight her way back through, looking for the outside, still getting bumped and still having blockers in front of her. Fee, fee, nominom with a ginormous hit in the straightaway. Scald Eagle makes her way through the pack. That is another five point scoring pass, Team USA. Nice tight wall being set up by Team USA in the back. Offense trying to come, but the Scald Eagle came around too fast. They've got a wall up. And the pack contained in a very short amount of space on the track. Scald Eagle now going to the outside. Gets pushed out of turn one by number 630, Scarlet Danger. Yeah, she jumps right back in and she's ready to go. Lose Chaos through the pack. She is cleared on her initial pass. They really made her work for it, but Scald Eagle calls it off. She doesn't want to have any more points for this big O team up on that board. Well, and real quick, I have an important shout out here. This shout out goes to someone watching at home on WFTDA, and that someone is Bernadette. Look, Ma, we're all grown up. We love you. From Mr. <laughs> Suicide and the OG Emerald City crew. Wanted to let you know they, they were thinking about you and cared, Bernadette. Nice tight wall being set up in the back by the big O MVPs. Lauren Much round the outside on her way to lead jammer for the team MVPs. Harding out of the pack on her initial pass. Lauren Much got a big old grin on her face from that. She's calling out some orders, hoping to get some offense and a couple points on the board. Lauren Much being hit by trauma does pick up a couple points there on that jam. That was a great play by Lauren Much. She called it out, she knew what she wanted that offense and they obliged her by trying to open up a few of those players to uh, get those points scored. Adam Matrix returning to the jam line for Team USA. She'll be going up against, I believe, Psychotic Rage. You are absolutely right, sir. Psychotic Rage, some great skating this weekend and Psychotic Rage through for lead jammer. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Out of Matrix finally gets out of that pack. That was Ziploc really giving chase there. 
Psychotic Rage gets dumped right before turn number one. She does pick up a point, however, but wisely calls it off. What did you say? I can't hear you in this room. It's really loud. Yeah, everybody's having a real good time with this game right here. As they should. Team USA shows up to play. You better get loud. I believe that's Lose Chaos on the line once again for the Big O MVPs. And that is Trauma, Trixie Trauma jamming for Team USA. And a track cut. That's going to put Loose Chaos in a power jam. And here comes the help. Oh, that's some great defense being played out there. Scald Eagle and Saracen could not stop her. That is not somebody I thought you could get around. That twosome was evil. And Loose Chaos made short work of them. Loose Chaos now getting offense from Haas the Boss and Ruth Canal. That is a heck of a defensive wall to have to fight through there. That Man. is Mercy with Saracen. Uh, I believe that's Revis and Eagle also out there for Team USA. Acres, that's what that is. Needless to say, that is not a wall I would ever want to face in a nightmare. And now Trixie Trauma out of the penalty box through the pack on her initial pass for Team USA. Everybody out there trying to open up that hole and get their jammer through. Five points though being picked up for Loose Chaos in that last jam. 44-13 your score as we are about a third of the way through this bout. This is going to be a 30 minute bout unless they tell us otherwise later. <laughs> it's the last bout, these things are, are bound to happen. Yeah, we wing it at this point. It's like we're gonna have V Diva sights in this game as your jammer this next jam. Jennings trying to hold her back. And it looks like Rusty Machete, I believe, back there, getting knocked around by the defense of Team USA. Rusty Machete getting some offense up front. Sites pierces through that wall like it wasn't even there. Five points for Sites. Lauren much up to play offense against Fifi Nominon. Rusty Machete drops back, tried to play a little bit of defense and help herself get through. She did not, though. That looked like Jennings or Much with the hit on V Diva there. Ziplock getting a penalty. She got sent to the penalty box. A back block being picked up on sights. Big O MVP is going to try and take advantage of the power jam situation. We've got a cap pass. I believe that's Tarantula who got the pass. Oh, blocking with the head. Tarantula is having a seat. And since she didn't get the cap on, they have her sitting in the penalty box as the pivot. She now slides over okay. to the jammer chair and puts on the cap, releasing I was curious v what just happened right there. I'm glad uh, they got that one right, situated out. Sites moving around on that inside, just right now trying to muscle her way through the middle. That's five more points for her. Multiplayer block being assessed. That against Big O MVP number seven, Rusty Machete. Yeah, she did that cat pass. Tarantula right now in the middle, just trying to work her way through. Multiplayer though being picked up on Teflon Donna. There will be well, actually, it'll be three on three now in the blocker war out on the track as two players, one from each team sitting in that penalty box. Add a matrix, add a matrix on the jam line for Team USA. An Admiral attack bar out. These ladies were ready to play and the whistle blew, but as for, I believe, an official review. 
Oh, well, now it looks like the head referee going over and talking to the penalty box area. My guess is, of course, that having something to do with what transpired in that last jam. Something I really like, and I'm seeing in this, this, in this uh, game right now, everybody is smiles. It's one of those things, it's great to have a great weekend like this and end it with both teams out there with grins all the way across their face. Adam Matrix starting on the outside, moves to the inside, tries to split the defense up, and she is through lead jammer Team USA. She hit the deck, stood right back up, kept right on going, and man, that's some strength and dexterity to do that. And that was Admiral Attack Bar through the pack. She's clear on her initial pass. Adamatrix gets on through there, picks up her four points, wisely calls it off as Admiral Attack Bar was coming on around. Looks like we're going to start three on three in the pack this jam. And that's going to be Haas the boss for the MVPs out there. I believe that's Smarty Pants out there jamming for I Team USA. I think so. There's a bunch of fives out there. That's all I can tell. Smarty Pants goes to the outside, finds room on the outside rail, gets pushed outside. No pass, no penalty. Smarty Pants is clear on her initial pass, but is not lead jammer. All right. Haas the boss gets out there. Eagle, though, gets a hold of her, but takes a fall in turn number two, and so lead jammer goes to Haas the boss. I actually don't think she realizes she, well, maybe she does now. Four points, though, being picked up by Smarty Pants. I think Haas the boss may have thought that it was a no pass, no penalty. Big old hit right down there. That was a uh, trauma, causing a little bit of trauma on that hit. Haas the boss giving Teflon Don a playful punch at the end of that jam. We're going to see Tarantula again with that jammer cap on, this time being fielded as the jammer. She's trying to fight right through the middle of the pack. Harding right now trying to find her own way through, and she is. She's your lead jammer. And it looks like Tarantula headed to the penalty box courtesy of a track cut Power Jam Team USA. Saracen tries to jump up there, opening up a hole. Uh, looks like Harding took the wrong side, though, with the hole open, but she took the outside. Loose chaos. Recycling Harding all the way to the back. Harding going to take another run at it. MVP's doing a nice job on defense, slowing it down. Sirilson, though, slipped everybody off that front line. Five points being picked up for Harding. Offensive attack for Team USA coming from the outside. They're pushing up there, and she's doing a great job trying to get through. Finally, some offensive help coming. And they slip everybody off and hold everybody back. Well, Jennings had done a good job of positional blocking up front, tried to recycle herself forward, so possibly do it again. Wasn't able to on that scoring pass. Well, that's how you're going to capitalize on your pe uh, your power jams. If you see your jammers having a hard time getting through, hit, go up there, knock them out of the park, and get your jammer out of there to capitalize on those points. Tarantula returning to play from the penalty box for the big O MVPs. Tarantula back in. She's got two people left to beat. Sight so meets her up front and gives her a big old smack. It's a big hit from Sights, and now Tarantula working against Mercy and Sarilson. That's a man. Just so many great blockers out there. Right now, USA sitting at 82, the big O MVPs, 13. 13 minutes left in this game. 
Scald Eagle on the jam line, opposite one, two, three, Psychotic Rage. Thank you very welcome. It's great to be here. Thank you thank all the announcers, all the volunteers in general for making this happen. Nice little swipe. Skull Eagle trying to run up that outside line. Now she runs to the inside. Last line of defense was Admiral Attack Bar. She scoots on by to get lead jammer. Big O MVPs get their jammer out. Psychotic Rage on the outside. Clears on her initial pass. Admiral Attack Bar headed to the penalty box for the MVPs. Out of play being called in the front. Skull Eagle squeaks on through. Calls off this jam. And... You know, Psychotic Rage, I don't think it was done jamming in there. She kept right on running. Team timeout, big O MVPs. This would normally be the time of the evening where you talk, where we talk to you about stats. We're not gonna do that right now. We don't have any. Let's just say they're all good. Every player out there. That's right. I'm they, still not completely sure how Scarlene got to work with the big O MVPs, but uh, you know, I'm she, not in charge here. She who has the biggest mouth sometimes gets hurt. Yeah, I just said that, Scarlene. So when you're listening to the replay, uh-huh. Remember, she skates in your home league. Dude. I know. I expect a, a full-fledged swack, you know, one of these days. It's going to be for that. I hope y'all at home are enjoying this. I hope that y'all at home have created some sort of drinking game to go along with this bout. I personally want to thank Phil Dirt for uh, being the head announcer here at the Big O. He's made our job a lot easier. So yes, big thank has. you to Phil Dirt. Absolutely. Had a real good time all weekend. I hope you folks at home have enjoyed what we've sent you from the Big O down in Eugene, Oregon. And seriously, if you can travel out here to Eugene, Oregon next year and take part in the Big O 2015, you owe yourself the opportunity. It really is an amazing three-day tournament. And we'd definitely love to see you. This jam is on as that timeout comes to an end. Illegal procedures starting the jam. It might have been Jennings. And Sites. That was a great move by Jennings. Sites gets the cut, and she's getting them in another power jam for the MVPs. Lauren Much working against Mercy at the front of the pack, dancing left, dancing right. You know, I think she learned that from Skull Eagle. That was some fancy moves she's got out there. Well, and that is her Wheels of Justice teammate, Mercy, that was up there blocking her. Much against Harding in the front, and it's Lauren Much, lead jammer, big O MVP. I don't know if you can hear this at home, but the crowd goes wild for that kind of fantastic performance. Lauren Much around again, big O MVPs letting her go at it alone against that formidable four wall. Well, I, th I think they knew that jammer was coming in. Finally, I think that's Rusty Machete. Jumps up there and tries to open up a hole. There's a pig pile in the straightaway. Nice job. Was that Admiral Attack Bar popping up front? I don't know who that is. It's on the other side of the track from me, but that was a great hit to get up front and try and stop that jam. That might have been LaLucha. Nope, Haas the Boss. Haas the Boss. Yep, she had her helmet cover on, and I could not tell you who that was from the other side of this other table here. Well, if we threw enough names out there, yeah. we were eventually bound to get the right one. <laughs> enough MVPs, they, they play that way, they look that way, and that's what you got to call. All right, next up, you're going to see Autumn Matrix on the jammer line for Team USA. And I believe that is Loose Chaos. Oh, getting dumped in turn number one. Loose Chaos up quickly though, recovers, goes around the outside, not lead jammer, no pass, no penalty. Yep. Automatra still trying to get through, she sees us, she's got a lot of track to make up, she decides to call this one dead. 86 to 18 in favor of Team USA and we unfortunately are down to just 10 minutes to go in this bout. Oh, looks like uh, they're calling for an official review down there. Akers heading out to the center of the track to discuss, discuss a few things with the refs. So fans, make sure you stay tuned for the bout coming up here net. No, there's no more. Oh. Don't listen to Mike checks. Sorry. Yep, he's just delirious at this point. 
a little bit. After three days, you always expect the next one, and uh, this is it. We got an after party coming up after this. That's what you're waiting for. So next, Mike Checks face down in the middle of the bar. Now, Mike Checks will probably be in a pinball machine. <laughs> The after party is at a barcade down here in Eugene, Oregon. I don't have the name of said establishment in front of me, but I'm looking forward to it. All the ladies out there on the line are slapping hands, having a good time. A couple of them are dancing. And this is like this is what Derby's all about. Having a good time. You know who else we should thank is the DJs. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Right now we got DJ H and Meow spinning the records, and if uh, you've ever had the pleasure to get to listen to Agent Meow DJ at Derby Bout, something fantastic and magical happens every time he gets down there. There are things happening on the track that I'm not comfortable discussing. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what's going down on yeah, down I mean, there anymore. Is that gang signs? What, what is that? Is that a funky chicken? Oh, I think Scarleen uh, was calling out Saracen. And oh, okay. So, all right. <laughs> I think the ref now is uh, deliberated enough. They're going to... Uh, <laughs> they are going to hand the microphone over. And Scarlene put her hand in the air, so it did not go in her favor. Team USA was uh, questioning a lack of a cut call on the MVP jammer in the last jam. Uh, based on the information we have, the no call stands. Well, alrighty then. No call stands. You heard it at home. Team USA just casually wasting their official review. Well, you know, might as well be all willy-nilly. It's the last jam or the last game of the night. And we're back to action. Scald Eagle on the jam line for the MVPs. Scald Eagle really pressing up against that wall. Tarantula looks like she's the last line of defense. She tries to take a big sweep and misses, landing out of bounds. And that is number 22, Ruth Canal through the pack, clear on her initial pass for the MVPs. What a smooth move. Scald Eagle sweeps to the out, sweeps to the in, goes through and calls it off. Ruth Canal tries to pick up a point. Yeah, it looks like he's got a single finger in the air. That's a point. Fifi Nominon, or shall I say, do, 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 do. Manana. Phenomenon. <laughs> I've waited all weekend to do uh, that. No. This was the only opportunity I felt it was even marginally appropriate. And that right there, now we're in trouble. All right, Fifi Nominon trying to muscle her way through this wall. She's got through, and one more player left to beat. She drops her in turn number two, and it's your lead jammer. Admiral attack bar being pushed to the outside by Saracen, recycled behind the pivot line. Nice tight wall right there. They're not going to let her get anywhere. Admiral attack bar getting escorted out of bounds on the inside. Lauren Much being whistled off the track. She is reporting to the penalty box. Admiral attack bar trying to make way against the back of the pack. Yep, she's up against Sarosol and Teflon, and she's having a real rough time right now, staying in bounds and not getting anywhere on the track. Nice positional blocking by Jennings up front. Jammers coming out of turn four down the far straightaway. One player left to beat for Fifi Nomina. Oh, and she did get her. That was Scarlet Danger knocking her out of turn two and recycling her all the way back to the pivot line, that making sure nice the bridge right is there. Uh, out there. Lauren Much returning to play from the penalty box, and it looks like we've got a cap pass. I believe that's death proof. 
No, who am I seeing right there? We don't have a name or a number. Well, number's 27, she's got the cap, and she right now is pressing up against Team USA's wall, trying to find a way through. As Vanessa Seitz pushing her out of bounds in turn three. She picked up another penalty on that. I believe it was a multiplayer on that call. And the MVP's jammer still trying to work her way through the pack. Fifi Namana now pushing out front. Saracen so good at that, at escorting a player out of bounds and taking them back. As that draw, that jam draws to its conclusion, five more points, Team USA. Zip block on the jam line for Big O MVPs. I believe she's going up against Automatrix. And that is who that is. Automatrix working her way along the inside line, glides past the Tarantula and is your lead jammer. Tarantula moving back to play some offense for Zip block. Scald Eagle blocking Ziploc and then Ziploc taking a page out of Scald Eagle's book goes to her tiptoes, clears the pack on her initial pass. I think Scald Eagle thought she caught her out, but man, she did not. On her tiptoes, that was a beautiful, beautiful move there. Four point scoring pass for out of Matrix as she calls off the jam. Number 12, putting on the star. Excuse me. I believe that's Psychotic Rage, one, two, three. Nice big hit up front as Team USA player 22. That's Hardy, and she makes her way through, and she's your lead jammer. Psychotic Ray is getting taken out. She's escorted to the back, and she's got to start all over again. Sangria Punch trying to put the hit on Harding as Harding clears the pack on a five-point scoring pass. They have really contained that jammer right there in the pocket. Saracen escorts her out of bounds, and a cut call being called on Psychotic Rage. Power jam for Harding and Team USA. Lots of big hits once again out there. Harding recycled to the back. Jennings looked like she was trying to draw the track cut. Harding working her way through those players. Finally picks up five points, calls off that jam. Let's get a fresh jammer out there, she says, and leave that other jammer sitting there in that penalty box. So Psychotic Rage will start the next jam in the penalty box. With that, Team USA has breached a century mark. Score 109 to 19. Smarty Pants sent out to jam for Team USA. There is so much yelling going on in this building. Mm -hmm. And Smarty Pants working her way around the inside. Holy smokes, she blew up that two wall and is your lead jammer. Smarty Pants leveled Admiral attack bar. Wow, just a vicious hit there. Four wall established in the back for Team USA. Four wall up front for big O MVPs. You know, in most cases that would have worked. Psychotic Rage went around the outside, but a Scald Eagle ran up, smacked her, and took her all the way to the back again. Both teams at full strength. Smarty Pants again going to work the inside against Ruth Canal, now going to the outside where she finds Tarantula. Sides taking out Psychotic Rage and taking her way back to the top of the apex, almost turn number one. And that was Admiral Attack Bar forcing Smarty Pants out of turn three. This is a defensive clinic by both teams right now, just abusing these jammers. Big O MVPs, this lineup working very well together. That's Ruth Canal up front with Tarantula. Psychotic Rage, she's trying once again. She has been taken out over and over by Sights. And there we go, she's doing the star pass. It looks like she's going to Tarantula. And now Team USA has their Sights locked on Tarantula. 
Team USA has sights locked on Tarantula. Yeah. Sites right now is just being a defensive juggernaut. She cannot be stopped. Smarty pants through the pack for the same number of points as the number on her back. That is five. Tarantula's trying to get through. Now she's up against Skald Eagle and Fifi Nominon. Smarty pants through the pack. Five in the sky. Team USA. I believe that's Acres now. She does. She wants a little bit of this fun. She's like, you guys are having way too much fun with this jammer. Skald Eagle drops Tarantula. Acres is right back in her place. Tarantula looked up wow. at the scoreboard to see how much time was left in that jam, and I don't blame her. That is, that is some really difficult defense to get around on the track. I, I think every one of those blockers had a hit or two or three at least on the, that jammer rotation. The recycling work just was such a great exhibition, man. I, I just am speechless right now. Lauren Much on the jam line for the big O MVPs opposite Adam Matrix for Team USA. Or much using her magic feet, jumping from inside to out, trying to find a nice hole through. Nice defense by Zip Block up front. Oh, Serielson got a hold of her. Oh, and a nice heads up play by Jennings not to let her go back. Zip Block inverse offense against Teflon Donna. Automatrix calls it off. No points scored. There's a minute left in this game. It's 131 to 19. Team USA racked up the points. They are pretty well in charge of this game as we figured they would be. Wait, no, this is where you're supposed to say it's anybody's game. It's Haven't anybody's you paid game. Attention this weekend? Yes. Anybody's game. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah. We love you, MVPs. You guys are doing a great job. And that's what I like to see. 924. Lose chaos. She's your lead jammer. Scald Eagle breaks free of the pack for Team USA, giving up a shrinking track to lose chaos. Lose chaos engages this track one more time. Scald Eagle decides to go ahead and capitalize on those four points. Loose chaos, clears the pack, and that's a four-point scoring pass, MVP. That was a fantastic juke. Juked him right out of her socks. I think her bench wanted to call it off and uh, get a timeout in there. Look at the wide open hole. Scald Eagle didn't even have to slow down to make it through that hole. Loose Chaos almost able to stay in bounds. Calls off the jam after Sites pushes her out. And if what we were told when this started is correct, that is the end of the bout. Well, that was one heck of a show. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that at home as much as I enjoyed it sitting here with Mike Checks. We are going to have both of these squads taking a post-game lap here. Yep, and as it stands right now, refs are deliberating it, but I think this is pretty safe to say. Team USA, 143, Big O MVPs, 26. Team USA walked away with it as we figured they would. And Agent Meow is going to turn the whole building into a dance party. Well, that's, you know, that's what Derby does. Yep, when. nope. One of my favorite parts. That's, yeah. The games are over. It's now time to dance and party. And the king says, there shall be partying and dancing. Excellent. I have made it a decree now. Let's stop talking and let these people enjoy this. Fans, thank you very much for joining us from the Big O here live in Eugene, Oregon. We hope you tune in next time to WFTD. And until then, enjoy your derby, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Hello once again from the Derby Deeds, uh, DerbyDeeds.com event desk here at the Big O. It's been a very exciting day. We are brought to you by Adam Wheels and the brand new Boom Wheels lineup that you can find at roller derby skate shops everywhere. Boom Wheels! Uh, just watch a very exciting and very fun Team USA versus Big O MVP half an hour exhibition. Super fun game. Well, I think some of those girls were trying out for Team USA, right? The MVP team, they had something to prove. So yeah. good on them. I totally agree. Like Lose Chaos from AZRD, she should be on Team USA. She's good enough. If she goes and tries out next time, she'll make it. Yeah, I, it's, it's just fun watching really good players play with really good players. Right. And that's what we saw. Um, we do have a huge update from Track 3. Uh, 
Track three was Puget Sound Outcast versus Portland's Bridgetown Menace in the men's game. And man, like what a way to end the weekend for the men. Huge. I mean, they went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. In fact, so much so that they lost track of lead count. And uh, they know that in the, uh, in the second half, there was at least eight lead changes. They don't even, they lost count in the first half, no idea. Uh, power jams, uh, Puget Sound had 13 power jams. Bridgetown had 11 power jams. So it was a crazy, crazy game. Uh, 35 point jam with about three, uh, three minutes left for Puget Sound. That pretty well sealed the deal for Puget Sound. Uh, they ended up winning that game 176 to 156 for Bridgetown. Uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, they ended up winning the game 194 to 173, uh, 173 for Bridgetown. So huge game for the men, and it was everything we had hoped it would be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and more. And uh, I want to say personally uh, a huge, huge, huge thank you to our co host Teeny, who had to leave. Uh, her ride was Radilac, who was playing with Puget Sound. They left earlier. Uh, a huge thank you to everyone who joined us this weekend here at the desk. It was so much fun. And uh, uh, finally, a giant thank you to Chris Wilcox, Christopher Wil uh, Walken, who uh, has been running our camera and doing all of the behind, scene, behind the scenes stuff for us all weekend long. He's been over here at the desk and he's just been a godsend. Yeah, we, we couldn't have done it without him. He, yeah. The guy was here every minute he needed to be here. Uh, nothing, there was no failures because of him. That is for sure. Everything yeah. went over because of him. So uh, we appreciate <laughs> it, it was huge. Yeah, so thank you, Chris. And uh, another big thank you to the guys and ladies up at Blaze Streaming Media for making this happen. Uh, we're gonna wrap up here real quick so that they can get the hell out of here too. Uh, giant, giant thank you. It's been a absolute blast being able to do this all weekend and we wouldn't be able to do it without them and uh, another thank you to emerald city emerald city had the uh the faith in us to be able to do this and um so thank you thank you rex havoc blue ruin everybody at the big O committee that made this happen thank you so much from everybody at derby deeds ultimately thank you right yes. you watched this thing you made it happen for us uh Please tell us on Facebook how much you liked it, how much you hated it. We don't care. We want to know. Uh, yes. We want to know what we can do better next time. So hit us up. Let us know. Uh, and again, thank you for watching this. Absolutely. So from the DerbyDeeds.com events desk, brought to you by Adam Wheels. Thank you very much. I'm Megatron. I'm Pitchett. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next big event.